Should we get a flu shot or not? A new survey by, by Consumer Report shows this year more people are considering not getting a flu shot. KXLY Force Tori Brunetti is with us. And Tori, the Spokane County Health District says it's been busy, though, giving out flu shots this year. Yeah, the health district says they have seen a steady flow of people coming in for this year's vaccine. But today we asked about a dozen people on the streets of Spokane how they feel about the vaccine. And most of them say they don't buy the flu shot hype. How do you feel about the flu shot? Um, not so good. Riley and his mom, Dana, have already gotten their flu shot. Dana believes in the vaccine, but there is worry she is part of a shrinking group. I choose not to get them because I would rather take my chances because I feel if you lead a healthy lifestyle, I'd rather not be injected with something I'm not familiar with. Tracy isn't alone. Consumer Reports surveyed 1,500 people. Only 37% are planning on getting their flu shot. 30% said no way, and 31% are undecided. So I've always been nervous that if I get one, I'm going to get sick. And you read all these things that, that um, they say they add or don't add, so... I don't really know <laughs> if it's safe. Those are the two main reasons people gave in the Consumer Report survey as to why they were not getting vaccinated. This is the best way to prevent becoming ill. It's kind of simple. Despite all the skepticism, the Spokane Regional Health District says they have seen a steady increase in the flu vaccine this year. In late October of the 2007 and 2008 flu season, they had given out 2,034 flu shots. During last year's H1N1 flu season, the health district gave out 4,994 by late October, and so far this year, they have given out 4,646. Keep in mind, no two flu seasons are alike. This year, the vaccine was available earlier than ever, and the CDC's guidelines include everyone older than six months, and in years past, the flu shot wasn't as readily available. Plus, doctors stand by the flu shot, saying it's the only way to protect yourself. I follow my pediatrician's recommendations now with the kids. So. And there's also skepticism around this year's batch of flu socks because in one shot you are protected against three strains of flu, including H1N1. But doctors say the past 30 years vaccines have protected you against more than one strain of flu. In the newsroom, Tori Brunetti, KXOY4 HD News.